What's up guys, it's Tuesday, and you may have noticed we're not fishing. We we're supposed to be fishing down a marathon, uh, and Darcy's gonna tell you all about that. We came home last night at about nine o'clock. We left Marathon, and we arrived home about midnight, and basically we had to come home because of a family emergency regarding my dad, and like you guys know, my dad was diagnosed with prostate cancer about a month ago, and uh, he just had a serious emergency operation procedure performed in the hospital. He had a complete arterial blockage of the left and the right side of his lower aorta and um, so they immediately went into a procedure and it was non-invasive and they were able to clear the blocks the blockage and put five stints in him so he's got five two stints in his abdomen and then he abdomen he has three more in his legs so thank god my dad's okay he's gonna be fine his left leg was numb but unfortunately his leg is gonna be fine he's gonna keep his leg he's gonna be fine so that's awesome he's out of the hospital that is the greatest news ever that's why I had to come home so I picked him up from the hospital this morning and I took him home and now he's recovering so that's all that matters to me my dad is very important to me so no fishing family comes first and um, that's that so please keep your dad my dad in my your prayers for me please also, we just got a package today. We would like to thank Gambler Lures for sending us a big box of lures, soft plastics for us to use both fresh water and salt water. So we've got a variety of stuff like Brian just showed you. We also got a bunch of the easy swimmers that I've been throwing in my recent videos in the fresh water videos as well as the salt water. We use them there too. And we also got a bunch of nice jig heads, white jig heads, also bucktails for catching snook. We're going to be doing a snook fishing tournament this upcoming week, so we're going to be using a lot of these, hopefully. Check this avocado. And we also got the ghost shad color that I've been telling you guys that kills the fish, both freshwater and saltwater. Ghost shad right here. A lot of white, like she said, a lot of white bucktails. You know my three favorite color of bucktail are white and white and white. So I think those work the best. We got a whole box full. We're going to good stuff. So thank you very much, Gambler. Thank you. And if you guys have any Gambler suggestions, put them in the comments. Um, and uh, and we'll learn all how to use them, and uh, we'll tell you guys what works Whoa, best for us. That's going to catch fish. Pretty fancy. Start choose trail, tail. That's what that's what matters for the fish. They like that yellow tail. All right, so you guys know what we're trying to do. We're doing these daily videos now. And until we get in the rhythm, some of the videos might be a little shaky. This one, this one you might want to skip to the end or to the next video tomorrow. Uh, I got to go to the iPhone store to get my iPhone fixed because it's not charging. Darcy's going to Costco. We got a big week coming up. She's going to do a lot of studying. We were planning on that fishing today, so we're kind of just filling it in today. So um, we apologize for that, but we're going to go try and, uh, and get that stuff done. Yeah, it was really rough offshore yesterday. Unfortunately, I think something might have happened to Brian's phone. Um, maybe water-wise, maybe some salt water affected it, but the charging port's not working and I used to work with iPhones, so I couldn't get it to work. So he's doing that. I'm going to the store. We have no food in the house. We're starving. All right, so it looks like they're gonna be able to fix my phone. It's the port was, uh, the lightning port got messed up. I don't know if it was from the salt yesterday with that water spraying on my boat, but you know, that's kind of the, uh, the dangers of, uh, of doing the channel and, and being out there and, and, and doing the gear. But, uh, so I got about 20 minutes. I don't know how long that is because I got on no phone and no one wears watches anymore. So, so uh, I figured I'd come out here and uh, I tried to find a piece of pizza because I'm from New York and uh, anytime I got the free time, that, that's when you get some pizza. And of course, Darcy's not here, so and she won't let me have any pizza. Of course, never mind the peanut butter. And there's no pizza in this whole freaking shopping center here. Uh, welcome to Florida. Uh, so that's good. But anyway, I wanted to say, you know, since Darcy and I have been doing what I came out here to tell you guys is, since Darcy and I have been doing more videos together, and probably going to be doing more in the future, I'm starting to get some comments. But oh, what a lucky guy! Um, how old are you? You always get that, but whatever. And always, one today, always old enough to be your dad. Period. We know, all right? <laughs> all right? I'm 20 years older than her. Uh, uh, so, yes, technically, biologically, I'm old enough to be your dad. You know, if I was 14 years older than her, I'd be biologically older enough. But you guys understand the physics of it, or the anatomy. But, um, you know, it's not lost on me. I'm the luckiest guy in the whole wide world. Yes, the, the girl... 
is more wonderful and nicer uh, than, than she even appears on the videos. Anyone who's met her can assure you of that. Any captain we fish with, she's busting her rump out there fishing, competing with these guys, uh, working her tail off on Instagram and social media and Facebook and all the different things and YouTube. Um, you know, she's smart. She's finishing up her college. You know, she's she, she's just incredible, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I, yes, I'm lucky. But um, at the same time, you guys got to go out there. I don't want to give any dating advice. But, you know, you got to be nice. You got to treat the women right. And, and, and you can't act like a moron. You know, you got to be mature, uh, a man, once you hit 18 and, and do the right thing. And, um, you know, I don't want to say you got to have a lot of money or anything. I don't have a lot of money. Um, but, you know, I, I had a job and I, got, I live in a home and I have a car, you know, and, and girls aren't looking, you know, I'm not saying girls are money hungry or anything, but they want you to be a motivated uh, person of society and, and, you know, not live in, in your mom's basement or attic, you know, when you're a full grown adult. So, uh, so, you know, again, anyway, that's the story. Uh, I'm, I'm the luckiest man in the world. Uh, I don't know, understand why this girl likes me. Uh, thank God she does. Uh, you know, I am, I am, I'm a, I'm a decent guy too. You know, I'm <laughs> very nice to her. Um, but, you know, obviously she can go out with anybody she wants. Uh, she can go out, you know, she can go out with the, the king of, of uh, you know, Palm Beach to, to anyone. No one's not going to date her. Uh, so anyway, so that's the story. I, I'm the luckiest man in the world. Thank you so much for everyone for your support. And I got to go check out my phone. All right, that was awesome. They fixed it. $89. It's called, I'm right next to it. You break it, I fix it. It was great. Great service. I walked in. They fixed it. No line. Uh, so no complaints. Thumbs up for uh, you break it, I fix it on the corner of Old Boynton and uh, Old Boynton and Congress. It's in the, uh, I don't know, Supercuts, TJ Maxx, Shopping Center. 89 bucks. They changed my lightning port, you know, the female port that the lightning cord goes in. Again, thumbs up. Two thumbs up. See what Darcy bought at Costco? Double standard. Get back. Get back, Piggy. Get back. All right, Darcy is about to do an interview with, with, for the Barra Bounty, which is an Australian tournament, which we're going to be helping with uh, this week. And so uh, let's follow along. The Skype interview to Australia. How do I look? Beautiful. How does you look, everybody? <laughs> is it okay if I ask Brian some questions in this as well? I is think... Is he allowed to answer questions? Oh, <laughs> good question. <laughs> um, he's right here. <laughs> i got to fix my hair. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. No. You know, who's the person you always filming you? And you know, it, when it, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing without him. So it's like, you know, it's like I definitely got to give him credit. And you two are a fantastic story. I just love this this idea of you're doing the fishing and, and he's doing the the behind the scenes work. Yeah. <laughs> just, thank oh, you. Amazing. So it's like we're kind of like learning together. And like I I love to fish. He likes to fish, but not as much as I do. Um, and I used to be an athlete and a runner and ran track and field and stuff and I became the captain of both teams. And I actually became a really good runner. I actually broke the uh, mile record for the women's mile at my high school. Sizzle, they first called me Sizzle like because I run so fast and then like Dar Sizzle was created. He's just a model, there's no way. And I don't know why they had that assumption in their mind. Well, there's a word for it, it's sexism. Sexism. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Very simple. And like anything wrong with going fishing in a bikini, it's it's boating. It's you know we're on the water, we're doing activities right. out and, in and the they, sun. And they act like it's it's the sport of kings, like it's a polo match right. in front of Queen Elizabeth. Dude, we're on a boat, we're going fishing. Right. The, the girl's 27 years old. She grew up in Miami, Florida. She's in a bikini. What do you? I mean, what do you want her to wear? Let's go check her out. And then maybe we can convert them that they, you know, they can yeah. go fishing. Or maybe some young girls will see it and, and they're going to go fishing because right. some other kid in seventh grade said fishing's icky for girls and girls aren't supposed to fish. But no, they see Darcy's doing it. She's gorgeous and she's fishing. Her hands are disgustingly dirty. I mean, so a seven-year-old girl is now, hopefully, I can do that. Right. Yep. Right. That's the idea. Uh, that, you know what? That's exactly how I see it too. Yeah. You know, I, I'm 
We're gonna end the vlog right here. We gotta take the puppies out to go potty. This is Bubba, little cutie, he just got groomed. So I'm gonna let him go potty, and we're gonna end the night. We're gonna eat some delicious food that we got from fishing in Marathon yesterday. Can't wait for that, some yummy yellowtail snapper. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and, and subscribe to my channel. New videos every single week. And until my next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.